Setup wise, we said it's fine. Ball position for me was where you were, was no problem at all. Just left to centre, and it just remains in that sort of same position relative to the left foot for every club. All that happened is your five arm would get a bit longer, and your pitching wedge would be a bit narrower, which would yeah. give the impression the ball's moving back and forth. It's not. It's just the feet getting narrower gives that yeah. impression. Okay, so other one, that nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But this was your previous swing. Okay. Good back swing. And here's the yeah. new swing. Good back swing. Nothing changed, okay? Same yeah. movement, okay? Now, your transition, we're trying to get the body to move this way and rotate. You watch your head position here as you swing back. It's moving back off the golf ball or yeah. your weight now, predominantly back foot. We look here now. Okay. Staying a bit more over the ball. Striking down, not so far back. And then from there, now your head's going to go forward. Mm. So you're moving up onto that left side. Whereas this one, he's not really moved starting to move yeah. the knees are coming together just look where your right hip pocket is in relation to the swing there yeah. there's more twist through there that knee is starting to sort of move more that way whereas this was a big gap there between your knees left and right knee yeah. so we're starting to move more towards target so we're going to be what we call covering the ball coming down with a better trajectory and angle of attack into the golf ball to make your seven iron come off like a seven iron not like a pitching measure where you're going really yeah. high so, I mean, some of your seven irons are going vertically yeah. or you hit the ground on the ball because yeah. if you move the circle of the golf swing, which we said before, the golf swing is basically a circle. If you move back and you're back here, you're striking the ground here mm. behind the golf ball and in up on the ball. Now, if the ball's sat yeah. a fluffy lie in the rough, it just goes really high. Okay, with a driver, happy days. Mm. Okay, but the driver, the ball is forward in that right position. And we still do the same swing now moving left, but the further forward ball position will give us that slightly upward strike. Okay, so don't change the swing now for the driver, just the irons. Okay, it's the same swing, just a few subtle changes in the ball position. My okay. driver swing, yeah. I, I'm more like a flatter swing. There, yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, the fact the club is further away from you, mm. it will encourage a flatter swing. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, if, again, your driver swing is good, don't change it. I think the, yeah. the, the swing of your driver is more this way than that way. Yeah. Okay. So there's a longer club is more force and momentum that sort of takes you through this way anyway. Yeah. But you're focusing on getting yourself over the ball, striking a bit more vertically down on it, rather than sort of hitting golf balls from back here on your right side, hitting up on the golf ball and leaning yeah. back. So that lean back is going to end up causing a contact issue. And when your body's going this way and your arms are going that way, eventually there's going to be a point where your arms going to have to let go of the club, mm. and that can send the ball all over the place, left and right, and right to left. So does that make sense? That element? Yeah. yeah that's good, good stuff. Then. Okay.